So how are you all doing me more Chris and welcome back to the channel. Right, today we're in BMW and we're going to have a quick walk around the new BMW 900 and the new 900 GSA. So let's have a walk through and let's have a look at the bikes. How you doing me muckers and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look through these two bikes so we've got the f900 900 gsa so let me grab you i'm going to have a look around these bikes right then my muckers we're going to have a quick look around the 1300 gsa we we'll start at the front and work our way around beak is slightly different this is a smaller beak it'll still still keep a hell of a lot of the um, the rain and the mud off you if you're going off-road or if you're just doing tours it will keep a lot of the, the, the rain from splashing off the front so with this you get the LED light you also get the LED indicators the hand guards you also get crash protection the off-road style pegs. The optional for the exhaust is the Aquapophic exhaust. This is the standalone exhaust though. You do get the center cent also the center stand. Brembo front and rear calipers. As you can see as well, you get the racking for the aluminium panniers. LED indicator at the back with the standalone light. You get the comfort seat, which that is very, very, very comfortable. You can, you could quite easily bang some mileage out with that. Pillion foot pegs, side stand. You also get, as standard, a quick shifter. Now, on the front, you get all the normal BMW attachments. So you've got your menu button, your traction control, that is your cruise control, your horn, your fog lights at the front. That is for the connect navigator. You've also got the SOS button, the star button, and then your modes button. Let's switch that on. This TFT dash is probably the best dash you'll, you'll see on any, any of the bikes. It's absolutely fantastic. Really clear, easy to see overnight. This also comes with, as you can see there, heated grips. So you get standalone heated grips. You also get, which I think's better, is the screen adjuster. That is a lot better than the twizzle one you get on the on the 1250. You've also got a DIN socket on the left hand side and a USB on the right hand side. Very, very nice. Twin discs at the front. And you've got your fog lights at the front. You've got a normal light, not the Marmite light. And a nice big screen, clear screen at the front as well. Really, really impressed with this bike so far. It's absolutely lovely to look at.
Right then we muckers, on to the next one. Now, unfortunately this is my favourite. <laughs> so, this is the F900. So let's have, a, uh, let's have a walk around this one. As we can see from the front, you've got the gold wheels, you've got the shower suspension, you've got the Brembo monoblocks at the front, dual disc, 80-20 tyres, a standalone headlight with a small screen at the front for off-roading. You just get the smaller hand guards as this is based for off-road. Quick shifter, side stand. This is chain drive as well. You also get the fully adjustable suspension, pillion foot pegs. With this one, you get the Acro can. You've also got a Brembo monoblock at the back as well with a single disc. You've got the off-road foot pegs. Also the foot peg style with the brake. And you've also got the fully adjustable suspension. Also, also at the front of the bike, what you've also got is, let's just turn you around. You've got adjustable suspension for your compression and your rebound. There's not as many switches on this as this is the more off-going or off-roading type of bike. But you still get a lot of functionalities with this bike. Let's turn the ignition on. So there you go, there's a dash. Standard dash, slightly smaller, but absolutely perfect. Again, you've got a DIN socket to the left. And then to the right, you've got a USB socket. So you've still got power to charge other stuff up. But for me, this is the bike I'd have, 100%, 100%. No bells, no whistles. This is ideal. BMW light at the front. LED indicators. You've also got the LED indicators at the rear as well. But if you're doing any type of touring, this would be ideal for just slinging some, um, some soft luggage over the back, keeping the weight down and off you go. Absolutely fantastic. It's, this, is the, this is the bike for me. This is, the, this is amazing.
As you heard, that sounds amazing. That's brilliant. Oh, honestly, this is a uh, this is the bike to have if you're doing any off-roading or some tours. This is the one to have. Right then, me muckers. Uh, just a just a quick end to that video. Now, for me, the GSA is more of a road-based bike. Now, the 900, the F900, is more of a 50-50 bike, I'd say. So if you're looking at doing trail riding, a bit of shale riding, any type of off-roading, and a little bit of road work or tours and stuff like that, then I think for the best of both worlds, the F900 wins. But if it's solely just road riding, I'd go for the F900 GSA. So if you can all stay safe, keep your family safe, and I'll do one thing as usual, please, which is smile. Smile! <laughs> Thank you very much, me muckers. Until the next time, that's the Peaky Biker out. I'll see you soon.